Hi guys, JJ here, back with another video, and today we are on the MEP server, and, well yeah, we're going to be doing some pretty fun stuff today, ooh, what's that, chest, oh yeah, Mr. A said he left a chest here, oh sweet, uh, 35 emeralds, that is very nice of him, but the problem is, oh damn it, um, hmm, how are we going to do this, let's see, if we break the chest quickly, quickly, Okay, there we go. Um, and then what we could do is wait. Let's see. Oh, damn it! I didn't want to do that. Um, okay, I completely failed. Then we're gonna have to make something here that looks reasonably good, I suppose. Um, because I always use that to get the car. Maybe we just move the crossing bench to over there. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to try and just 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 do that. Um, okay, let's get the axe. Oh yeah, I got a load of stuff in here as well. Um, not that axe. There we go. Um, I am going to be making a new shop today because you might be wondering why he gave me these emeralds. That is because I have an infinite villager and yeah, I basically have unlimited emeralds if I have a load of paper. So I really need to add the like a second half to there so that I can really get that going well. But um, it's really weird, this villager. So normally, librarians, when they're full, they have nine. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, nine, which is meant to be the gold trade. Also, unfortunately, it's got... Oh, wait, what? Silk touch? Are you serious? It's got the silk touch trade? Oh, my God. I have infinite silk touch books. I never knew that. I'm sure it... No... It must have changed them because I've traded with them so much. Oh, that's awesome. Wait, what happened to... Wait, what? No. No. What? Wait, 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 wait. Let me just quickly look. I had a villager in there. It was a... Oh, God. Are you serious? Is he gone? Is he gone? Oh, no. What happened? What the hell happened? Oh, no. Oh, damn it. I had a priest in there with the enchanted bottle trade, so I thought I might as well I could do that and just get like infinite. It was the the last trade was like the redstone one, so it's like not really bad, so I thought I could get like <laughs> unlimited XP from that without having to go to the end of my farm. Oh, damn. That's a shame. Well, anyway, we didn't need it too badly. It was just, um, which book enchant did it have? It had... No, they don't have book ones, do they? No, they just had... It had a Fortune 2 enchant. Fortune 2, Efficiency 3 on a diamond pickaxe for, like, three emeralds, which is decent. And this guy has... Four 20, 41 trades, he, doesn't, he has 24, so this is, well, I'm not going to count, but he's got all of the trades, basically. And I'm going to open up a shop. I didn't realise, I looked online, I was pretty sure they had 24, but I was just wanted to double check. So I looked online, and it said they had 26. This is the 24th trade, so I've been trading with this guy for ages on this trade. I have a double, a, a single chest, over a single chest of diamond leggings. I must have spent about four stacks of emeralds on it. It's, uh, it's crazy. And they are still breeding, which is cool. And what else? Yeah, so I want to build a shop. I really don't know about the design. It's kind of annoying because I was thinking of making, like, just some diamond armor, but I realized if I make it to, like, one pixel on the diamond armor is one block, then it's going to be kind of out of proportion for one. And number two, it's just really going to look weird, and I couldn't find a good block to build it with because, of course, it looks like diamond. So, yeah, that's kind of a problem. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know what I'm going to build it out of, but I I might possibly build it out of, like, something that looks like chain or something. Maybe some, like, I could use, like, iron bars and make it or something. That would look pretty cool, probably. But... I don't know if I'm going to do that now. I might go into creative now, work some stuff out, and yeah, I'll probably do that. I'm going to go into creative, try and work some stuff out, and show you when I'm done. So guys, I will see you in a second. Okay, guys, so I've based this on the chain, uh, like the boots, 
and I'm not sure if it's going to work because it might be really tall but this is basically what the what the boots look like and I will probably make the entrance over here get rid of these two and probably fill in like all the spaces with glass or something but I'm having a feeling this is going to take a while to do unfortunately of course the glass it looks pretty good on my texture pack but how it's going to look on other people's I have no clue so basically let's just do this side and then I'll show you guys what it's going to look like most probably if I do this which I don't know it's, it's just not very clear nah I'm going to get I'm just going to get rid of it all can't you delete blocks now or something in an area I cannot remember I've never been very good with commands I just spent like two minutes trying to work out here how to set up the weather clear command ridiculous I'm pretty newish with when it comes to command blocks so I don't know what kind of style I want to do maybe something eventually just make my shop out of like diamonds or something just like a, a diamond I don't know something diamond based something or, or other but uh, I need to work out something probably just with some wood, I don't know, by the way I got rid of my auto farm shop which is this one over here it was just it was n not like I think who was it, Mr. A, he put something in he put a, he admitted a thing but he had already sorted it out by the time I got to it I just wasn't checking it because I knew that it wasn't a very good shop idea and Chris is also he said that in his building company he also does this kind of thing so it's it wasn't really a brilliant idea um, there we go, set the time to 1000, changing the clear weather, brilliant. So, yeah, wait, have we got a load of villagers up here or not? Um, we got a load in there, and what about in the diagonal one? No, we haven't actually got any. It looks like they're not breeding, which is kind of interesting. Um, why is that? Oh yeah, of course, because of the, yeah, yeah, I know. Because we've got the water stream, like, probably ruining this over here or not. Uh, no, doesn't look like it. Okay, I don't know why it's not working. That's just really weird. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm going to get working on something probably made out of wood. Maybe some stone bricks or something and some stone slabs. Try and make it look pretty good. Maybe even using, like, cyan stained clay or something. But I'm just going to try and work something out and I will be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, I am back and... Yeah, it's kind of been a while for me, probably about three, maybe even four days. And you might be thinking, why are you over here at Shuff's place? Well, I'm AFKing. I was, I was a bad guy, and I sort of took all the sugar cane. I'm, uh, I used to play on grief servers a lot, and well, I just, I just thought oh, I'll take a chest and I'll AFK later to get it back. And I sort of got really carried away. And the source of griefing aspect got back into me, which was really bad. And so I'm I'm paying him back for that. I've got to get him four double chests, and then I'll probably end up AFKing here myself because this farm just seems to be so much quicker than my one. I really don't know why. It's just weird. You shuff. I nearly, <laughs> if I was close enough, I would have hit him there. Um, I wonder what he's doing. Is he just getting melons and stuff, or is he? I wonder. I just asked him about something. Oh, wait, I think. Okay, guys, let's wait. Just wait one second. I'm gonna be right back. I think he probably answered my Skype message. I'll be, I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys, I'm back because basically I finished the design for the um, for the shop for the armor and tools, the the chain armor and diamond armor and tools and stuff, which is hopefully gonna make us some nice money. Don't know what I'm gonna charge for chain because you can repair it with iron, but I suppose it's worth quite a bit because it's kind of hard to get. You have to get it as a drop kind of thing. So I suppose that's it. But I'm gonna go and show you guys now, single player test world, and this is basically it. Come on, okay. I got a mob proof door, which is if you guys don't know, they register this basically as like one block. In, you can use it for the horses as well. So basically, with horses, you can go through it, but they won't go through it because they only register as one block, which is pretty sweet. And don't pay attention to that. I've just got that set up so that I, ha I don't have any rain and that it's day all the time. Um, so yeah, this is it. I really like the hay design personally. 
Uh, I'm sure about the back up here. I might change these two blocks there. But basically, it's going to be you get a free diamond hoe for every purchase you make, which is like above. I don't know what the price is going to be. Maybe eight diamonds, maybe ten. I don't know. I'm going to see what kind of price I do for the stuff. Um, so over here, we're going to have diamond helmet, diamond chest, diamond leggings, and diamond boots. And then over here, the same, but then for chain. Then up here, we're going to have diamond sword, diamond pick, diamond axe, and diamond shovel. Maybe not in the same order. I don't know. Um, and then let's go outside. I like the bottom bit, and I like this kind of overhang the the door. So from down here, I kind of like it because this isn't overhanging, so you can really see like this is a different height. But then this is kind of weird, and I don't know if I want to do something like wait, let's uh, let's just quickly do this and see what it looks like. It's quite a big building, so I don't know exactly where I'm going to build it. I did R shuffle where I should kind of build it because we're meant to be like expanding kind of thing on spawn. I th yeah, that looks way better. That does look so much better. Okay, guys, I'm going to jump over to spawn and maybe even discuss with Shuffle a bit if he can call quickly just to see where I need to put it. And then I'm probably going to grab the resources I need. Might have to go over to the Mesa for some clay. And no, I should be good on glass. Stone slab shouldn't be a problem. And other than that, mm, hey. I don't know about that because I'm probably going to need. What's this? This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 by 8 is what? 140 minus 28, which is 112. It's 112 blocks, which is just under 2 stacks. So that's 2 times 9. That's 18 stacks of. 18 stacks of wheat which I don't have, I have about 6, so I'll have to work at my farm for probably about 15 minutes or something as well. Uh, but that shouldn't be too much of a worry, should have enough bone meal in there. But apart from that, I should have the stuff, as you guys know, I have a load of stone from, I think one time the perimeter I worked with the, uh, my silk touch pit. So that should be all fine, and other than that I really like this, so I'm going to probably get in a call with shuffle and see where I should put it. So guys, I will see you back in a second. Okay guys, I'm back and this is where I'm going to do it. I discussed with Shuffle and he said, oh wait, do I only have three ender pearls? I better go get some more from Mr. A's setup right over here. Hopefully going to land pretty close. Yep, nice. Okay, let's just grab some. Um, I just prefer to do this, it's a lot easier. Okay, so <laughs> lol. Um, okay, so basically, we had the choice of well, I suggested this, saying uh, I'd like this spot, and I saw he had a path here. And I said if he extends that out, because that's originally we're, gonna, we're basically going to try and extend into the tiger, because servers like Hermitcraft, the uh, the old map, it had it. The, yeah, they spread out all over the place kind of thing and so we're probably going to end up going to the tiger and also one other thing guys quickly it's like completely off topic um, my base basically because of the snow all the time it's quite annoying and I didn't really like it at first I sort of got slightly used to it but there's also a rainy spot on it so it's really annoying and so I was thinking I saw on reddit the other day because Ether was talking in his episode about um, wait let's just go over here Sorry, Etho in his episode was talking about the snow on his mountain, his latest Minecraft episode, and that he didn't like it and stuff. And so I saw one guy on Reddit on the Minecraft Reddit said, um, "Make out of glass, like white stained glass, make a cloud, which is like an awesome idea." So I'm probably going to do that. We could also make here, but it's sort of quite far away from spawn, in my opinion. I didn't really like it. Oh, what's that? There's a villager over there. Shuffle did just say that he was going to set up villages here. Um, the black the village blacksmith. Oh, that's awesome. How many trades have you got? It's got like 12 or something, maybe? I could always help out if people want to get some certain stuff. But I suppose that's what my shop's going to be for, kind of thing. If people haven't got the emeralds, they can get it for diamonds instead. Um, the other place was over here. Next to, or like behind Travis and Shovel Shop. 
which is also just a bit far away from spawn. I have the thing, and I want it to be seen kind of quite a bit. This is probably going to be my last shot for quite a while because I got the bookshop and I got this, so it, kind of the perfect combination. It'd be cool if I got it because I saw someone's in my comments recent. Ooh, that is nice. <laughs> I wonder if he'll know what I'm talking about. Is that maybe a prank or something or not? <laughs> no, obviously not. Um, why am I looking in there? Any of that being bought? No, none of that. Oh, someone's been in here. Um, looting. Oh, he obviously got rid of it. Okay. MC ordered a looting three book, was it? And I just, oh, I really haven't had the time recently because I've been doing all the AFK work to get back um, Shuffle's thing, Shuffle's shuriken. And so yeah, I haven't really had time to do stuff. Um, okay, hopefully the guys will sort of be less confused now. So guys, I'm going to get some resources together, count out how many like exactly so that I don't make way too much of something or something like that and then I'm gonna get back and I probably need to add some glowstone to this build as well which I sort of forgot about oh I've seen it hard to miss. <laughs> just wondering how long it's been there because of course I haven't been to spawn I haven't been like actually playing I wanted to do this actually on Thursday, but didn't have time at all. I had to do history homework, and then I had to go. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, I've kind of not been active, and so today is actually Friday evening, and it's probably going to come up Sunday anyway because I'm never going to finish it tonight and be able to record it actually. I wonder if I will. I might be able to. There's a slim chance, but if I quickly go and count up the stuff and get it ready, I might be able to. So guys, I will see you in a second. Okay guys, I'm back and it's just turning night, which is kind of annoying. I might go and sleep in a second. Someone, like, yeah. Someone moved the markers, which is kind of annoying. I don't know why they did that. But I had it set up in just the place. I don't want it too close to Caleb's thing. And you still, I don't know, we might be able to put a, a pathway through here as well. If someone wants to go and put stuff over behind here. So, I don't know why someone moved it out. Shuffle said it was fine if it was over here. So, whoever did that, it's kind of annoying. Please don't do that. Um, but this is good. And we will have the other path just hopefully carrying on past these dirt blocks and off up here. Probably to somewhere just past the tree line, maybe. I don't know how far we're gonna go, we might even go even further. Something else I saw, guys, over there, got Shovel's face on the wall, which is kinda cool. Um, but other than that, I don't think there's anything new. Um, so I wanna start getting buildings. So let's see, I've got the stuff. The clay probably took the most amount of time. Um, let's see, what we're we gonna need. Let's do the clay first, or some of the clay at least. Um, so we need to just do this and then work out where the door is. That's one. It's 16 wide, so it should be eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay, and then we're gonna shove some. I didn't want to pick that up. Um, and then we're gonna shove down some slabs here. Okay, and then we're gonna want to do this side. Okay, I'm doing this really badly. Um, I don't really want to make a cut here and like do it off camera because it should not take too long. I know exactly what I'm doing because I worked it out in creative and stuff, so I know exactly what I'm doing. Um, like so. And then at some point, I'm gonna make a break in the glass and then have a column going down like for instance at the corners and also here um, I need more slabs here yeah that's it 
like so, and then I want more slabs like that, like so. Um, let's see. I might have to make a quick cut and check this out because no, no, this is the right, definitely right. Uh, I'm sure. Jeez, and I'm already down to 56 clay. How the hell did that happen? I suppose the second bit isn't as high as this bit here. Oh no, did I just? Yeah, I did. Okay, is that a skeleton? Yes, it is. No, you don't. There we go. Um, so we need to find the middle here as well, which is these two, and then we want it going up. Two, three, four, five. Okay, and then we need ladders on there. And we want one of them there, one of them there, and we want one there, and one there, one. Oh, god damn it, no! Can you guys hear that? I don't know. Some guy is outside, he's using one of those electric, um, he's using a, a leaf blower to do some stuff. Oh, it's so annoying. Guys, I might quickly go and check the recording, see if you guys can hear that, because I feel myself already starting to talk louder. Um, damn it. Wait, I've, I've, no, I haven't got an ender chest. I need an ender chest in here as well. Uh, guys, I am going to make a quick cut, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I've just realized that you could hear that, and it's really annoying. So, whilst that guy was doing that, I quickly put in the floor and put down the chest here. Got my uh, ender chest down as well, so now let's see what we need to do. We need to start working on the next layer, which should be. Oh, damn, I'm gonna have to double check, aren't I? Uh, let's quickly check it. Um, oh, I'm in F1 mode. It's at the top of the ladder, so. Okay, one, two, three, four. It is only four ladders. I was gonna say, I thought five was a bit, <laughs> a bit too much. Um, am I gonna wait? Let's see. Um, am I gonna put them in? Because I don't know if that's like more helpful or something. I don't know. It's just I always have the feeling that two ladders at the top are more helpful. And unfortunately, I've just realised because there's a chest there, you gotta sort of jump up, and then instead of getting yeah okay that's better I think, or not I don't know. No, probably not. I'm just going to keep it like that. So it's four ladders, and then we have three and a half high ceiling with the edge of them around the edge. Okay, let's carry on doing that and get to work. We have quite a lot of time to do this now. Um, I mean, as in, in the episode. Oh, wow. I didn't realize ladders took such a long time to break. That, that took quite a while. Um, let's see. Um, so we want up here and then we want another layer of these around the edge, don't pay attention to that <laughs> minor detail, don't even need to know what that is um, okay, so let's see, it's going to be a secret door basically that no one will actually know how to access only me hopefully, actually I'll probably end up showing it later in in a later video or something accidentally but hopefully it's going to be kind of secret until I show it uh, now we've done that we can get going with this floor Oh, what the hell? Okay, those were good. <laughs> that was kind of weird. It, it looked kind of glitched there. Um, so we need to do this for the whole floor. So I think I am actually going to make a cut for this because it's going to take quite a while to do a whole floor out of slabs like this. So guys, I will actually no, I won't. I won't see you in a second. I'm just want to explain this quickly. It's a mob-proof door. So basically, we know it's two blocks because it's one plus two halves, which is two. But mobs just see this as one because they see this as a half, uh, like a block, so they don't actually go through here, which is pretty damn helpful. And sorry for my voice, guys. I have woken up. I woke up about well, actually three hours ago, but it's still like this. It's still a, a morning voice. I have them, and they stay for a long time with me. So uh, guys, I'm gonna make cut, and I will see you in a second. Okay, guys, I'm back, and you know what? I think I've done like just under a stack not enough of clay for some reason I really don't know how I managed that but I have and it's rather annoying so um, let's see how have I placed the chests in here I just need to really check the clay so I did the clay like this yep and then if we go up here 
Yeah, I think I need like a stack more clay or something. But how do I do the chests? Okay, like that up here, and then down here, there, under that window, and then three along there. Okay, let's quickly go place them, and I'm gonna have to quickly rush home and get some clay. Um, so wait, um, like so, Ooh. and the other one like so, I believe. Yeah, and then this one is going to be like so and then like so like so and so and then this one is going to be like so like so like so and like so okay that's all of them done I need to go make more stained clay so guys I'm going to make cut here and I'll be right back okay guys one problem mobs of course do spawn in my shop <laughs> I just walked there and I think four maybe th three or maybe even four creepers in there which is not brilliant news that's one two three yes four creepers yes brilliant um how the hell are we gonna do this oh yay um i'm just gonna have to go a distance away from the door and then shoot them i think and get this guy any behind me no it doesn't sound like it so they are mob proof because they can't actually get out but one problem is they can spawn in there I yeah I was planning on bringing ghost stone but I actually didn't for some reason okay and then the last one no got him brilliant <laughs> really didn't want him to explode um oh god we need to light this up and quick kind of thing um and I have no torches because I never use torches um Okay, let's just pluck some random ones out of here. I'll replace these later. Um, okay. Yeah, let's just quickly light up this place because that's going to be pretty dangerous. Um, that should be... Wait, is it going to be safe? I don't know. I'm going to put glowstone in here later probably. Just like... Um, I don't know exactly where. But I am going to. Um, oh, damn it. No. This weird bug that I keep on being shifted for some reason. I, I don't know what's happening. Um, let's just shove these in here. I have so many leggings. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You don't even want to know. Um, okay, let's get these out. I take it no one's going to be buying iron, or no one's going to be wanting iron at least. Um, iron tools, so I haven't got any of them, and I don't plan on doing it either. But there's this and the hose these are going to be free ok guys I'm going to get a quick cut and I'll be right back ok guys I'm back uh, yeah just quickly had to say something people calling from downstairs kind of annoying um, ok let's see why is there a huge gangbang of three endermen over there I do not know go on can I reach yeah I can so yeah, I got the clay. Hopefully this is enough. If this isn't enough, that's going to really annoy me. Um, should be. It looks like it, at least. I'm not using too much. Mm. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's going to be enough, isn't it? Six. Yeah, should be. Perfect. Two left. Awesome. Now we shove the glass in, and then we just got to do the stone slab roof. And we got a. Is it really not. Has it been day? When I've been making this? I don't think it has, has it? I'm sure we started this at night. Oh no, we started it when it was going under. Didn't we? Seriously? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh god, come on. This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm going to make the roof and then I'm just going to put them in later after this episode. Probably just going to take a screenshot from the front anyway, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna have these ones like this, these ones like this, um, these ones like so. Um, let's see. Wait, no, wait, wait. Why did that happen? What was it gonna happen? Okay, wait. That 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 was weird. Okay, I should be able to get up here there now. Okay, good. 
Um, and then this is basic. No, wait, this is the last one. Is that one block? Yeah, it is. Okay, there we go. This should be good, and now I can fill this in with hopefully what is enough um, things. Okay, there we go. So, guys, I'm going to get to filling in this and probably go and get the glass anyway. And I will see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, that's the roof done. Um, glass. That's the only thing I need to get. And the shovels are going in... Wait, no, I needed to set up... Yeah. I need to set up something here, which is going to be basically... A um, it's oh what do I want to call it. I want to call it a oh a, a saucer like a saucer that sorts out the diamonds and then so that the shovels don't actually go through the thing, which is really going to help. Um, so what do I need for that? I need to grab. I need to grab two. No, I don't need two. I need one hopper. Um, so that's going to be one hopper. And then, um, let's see. It's gonna be one. Ho okay, guys, I'm gonna work this off out off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I've cleared up everything. It's all ready to go. Um, yeah, bas this is just for the path that's gonna be coming up here. By the way, um, free shovel for every purchase of eight diamonds. So I've got the same prices on the chain and diamond. Because chain is kind of hard to get, you have to kind of get it as a mob drop, or you have to have a villager. And if that people have a villager, then they're not going to be wanting to buy from here anyway. So I thought that was kind of useful. Um, so boots are two diamonds, leggings are four, chest is five, and helmet is three. Same for over here. Free shovel for every purchase over eight diamonds. Basically, they can just grab a shovel, and I can see how many purchases I had over eight diamonds, which is kind of cool. Diamond sword, one diamond. Diamond pick, two diamonds, diamond axe, two diamonds, and diamond hoe, one diamond. Which I think is kind of fair price. Um, I've got this here, and oh. Uh, yes, okay. <laughs> um, that was kind of not meant to be visible, but I'm down in my secret lair. This is where all the diamonds come, and basically, people cannot pay with like something that isn't diamonds because it gets sorted in here. Of course, now they're seen they could pay with chicken, but I know that people aren't going to go and cheat on this server, or at least I hope not, because that'd be rather annoying. And then we just quickly go up here. No, okay, you really have to, yeah. There we go, and back up. Easy as that, really. And you don't know how to get down, do you guys? No, it's a secret, and you guys will never know. So, guys, thank you very much for watching this episode. Hopefully, it'll be out on Saturday if I can get it to upload quick enough and if not then well Sunday is I suppose it should be okay because when do I normally upload seven my time it's now half one so maybe half an hour to render or something maybe an hour and then that should be four and a half hours I should have it out then I just really want my new internet and my graphics card which I'm getting in under two weeks which is also actually in exactly two weeks which I just cannot wait for so guys Thank you very much for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye!